everyone welcome back to another video my name is Sarah and you found the nifty nook thrift channel I resell men's and women's fashion on Poshmark and eBay and today I have a haul for you so I went back to the Salvation Army uh, for the second this is the second haul that I've done uh, on my YouTube channel and the day that I went to the Salvation Army this time just happened to be uh, a closeout sale so um, the Salvation Army. Also, I'm gonna do my best to look at the lens, but I'm also looking at the cam. I'm also looking at the center of the screen so I can make sure like I'm even and everything. So it looks like I keep looking back and forth. That's why it may be easier for me to just like look right here. So, um, yeah. So there was a closeout sale, and I didn't realize that this was going on until I got there, and saw outside 50% off everything. Got in the store to confirm that and they said well everything's actually 75% off now so a lot of a lot of the store was already moved out and gone and so I was like oh man how did I manage this because a lot of times I feel like their prices are kind of high there so it's not a place I would typically uh, purchase a lot of the things that I got today uh, but because the prices were so low um, honestly a lot of the prices were almost like bins this is almost like a bins bins haul pricing um, so I'm going to share my receipt with you. I got 54 items um, for a total of $98.13. That's pretty good. Uh, that means each item cost me $1.82, which is amazing. Um, $1 to $2 cost of goods is just awesome. So um, a lot of the items you'll see in here are kind of more like mid-tier bread and butter brands for me, um, simply because I was able to get them so, so inexpensive. Um, a lot of them are things I would have picked up if I was at the bins, uh, similarly, and could get them for that low price. So, we have, here's the haul, uh, and, yeah, so four bags, <laughs> and, um, let's get into it. I don't remember what all, I, I think I could only tell you, uh, if you ask me right now, I think I could only tell you one item that's in here, so... It'll be fun to, to revisit. So grab your coffee. It is morning where I'm at. I live in Indiana and it is a very, very cloudy overcast day, but we do have natural lighting today. So you'll be able to see the color as well. Uh, one note, thank you so much for, to everyone who watched my last haul video uh, that was from a local thrift store. I have gotten most of that those items listed at this point. So just to let you know, for anyone interested in purchasing any of those, um, in less than 24 hours of listing, I sold the chunky knit Halloween sweater, like the really vibrant orange one, um, for $36, and the MM Lafleur top already, already flew too. I think so. Um, already sales are good. <laughs> sales are good from that haul. So, coffee. Cheers, and let's jump into it. Again, a dollar eighty-two an item. Really good. Um. The men's section was really small, so I didn't really get a lot of men's stuff, but there was a lot of, uh, there's some men's items in the women's section. So, this is a pair of men's size small REI co-op shorts. REI is a really good brand to be on the lookout for. Athletic, hiking wear, REI co-op. There you go. And these are a charcoal gray. And they are also fully, they're the two-in-one style, so fully lined. They've got the, the fitted short there, size men's small. This is just a basic Nike tank top, um, but I thought it was, like, really unique, so uh, I think it'll sell. It's a size women's medium. Really fun and vibrant, and it's got more of, like, a cottony feel. Racerback and built-in shelf bra. Pretty. Another Nike tank top. This one's like new, and these won't go for a whole lot, but um, when you can pick them up for $1.82, they will move for something. It's kind of like a vibrant pink, and this one's more got spaghetti straps. This is a size women's dry fit, and then it's a size women's medium. Next, we have a pair of North Face shorts. These are a size men's small. I bet they came from the same person as the REI shorts. These are a fun, kind of like a bright lime green with a, a pocket in the back. 
and they've got like, I don't know, they've got a texture in which I wonder, they're definitely like hiking material. Maybe they could work for swim also, but I'll look those up. Really, really nice. So as you can tell so far, no, no items are like, whoa, you know, but there might be a few in here. Um, this is a really cute Banana Republic blazer. Um, as far as Banana Republic goes, their blazers are probably the best performing category within Banana Republic for me personally. Um, and so even though this blazer is a size zero, I went ahead and picked it up uh, because it's a blazer and it's a really cute pattern. Really good for fall. I can see a teacher wearing this or uh, anybody really, but it just gives me teacher vibes. It's a really uh, pretty navy polka dot blazer, fully lined, and it does have two button clothes in the front there. Size women zero. Uh, this is a uh, Athleta top. So it is a quarter zip, let me get it here. And I think this is a running top because I'll show you. So it's quarter zip and then it's got a zip pocket in the back, cap sleeves, and this is an Athleta women's size extra small. Perfect condition. Um, this is a women's pure jill red long sleeve top I thought would be really good for the fall and it's just new condition. I can tell it hasn't been worn. Pure Jill by J Jill. Um, stretch cotton crew neck tee. So, and it's plus size 2X and I think that will do well, especially because it's, it's new. It really doesn't feel like it's been worn at all. Next we have a Lucy top. Lucy is an athletic wear brand. I don't always pick it up, but uh, depending on the piece, it can do well. This is a beautiful light blue racer back tank top. It's a really, really soft, stretchy material. It's got some cute uh, smocking there. And it is a Lucy size medium. That's what Lucy looks like. Um, now, a lot of times these, when you find Lucy, these rip tags will be torn out, kind of like Lululemon. Um, and the way you know it's Lucy is you look for that little orange embroidered spot, typically near uh, a side seam, and you'll know it's Lucy. This, we've obviously, we're obviously in the athletic wear tank top bag. Um, this is a beautiful peach colored tank top, and it is by a really good brand Teresa called Zaya Active. Uh, this feels like new. This is a size woman's medium. There's Zaya. The symbol for it is that moon. So oftentimes the moon will be, uh, yep, there it is. Kind of near the bottom hem somewhere. Um, man, my face looks really shiny with the light. <laughs> I'm glowing! Um, yeah, this is definitely the athletic section, athletic wear section bag. Um, Oh yeah, I was, I was excited to find this. This is a cute little cropped sleeveless sweater in navy blue, hooded, and cropped length, little tie waist there, and it is by, who knows this brand? It's called Gymshark, and does pretty well. This is a size women's medium, and more so, so it is missing the draw things, drawstring, draw things, drawstrings on the hood there. However, definitely worth the pickup because it is 100% wool. So I thought that would be really cute for someone to wear in the fall. There's kind of an overcoat type thing. What is this? Uh, this is a Lucky brand top and it is kind of a faded, ditzy floral pattern in pink. There you go. Lighting's so much better doing this during the day than at night. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. So Lucky Brand Tops. We'll probably start this at 25 and hope to get 18 to 20. New with Tags Chicos. Find a lot of New with Tags Chicos. Um, so even though this is a small size, because it was only $1.82, I went and picked it up. So this is a pair of brown pants. 
really really nice brown pants um they're called the so slimming bridget slim leg and they retail for uh, it doesn't say they were, went through final sale but um they are in double espresso is the color brown and they're size two regular so really really nice condition new with tags there and i think those will do do well probably at least 25 to 30. Bag is down. Uh, this is a pair of jeans and they are BKE. This brand of jeans, BKE, does really, really well for any buckle, sold at buckle. And they are a size 26 regular. And these are a women's pair of uh, skinny leg jeans. Let's see if I can find what they're called. Uh. I'm not sure what the style is, but I will... Oh, pff, duh, Sarah. It's always kind of faded, but it's right there. It's the Stella Skinny. And I've sold the Stella Boot Cut a lot. I'm not sure if I've ever picked up a Stella Skinny, but I think that'll move. Um, because BK, BK jeans are in demand. Even... I'm taking a risk with the skinny leg, but I think, I think it'll move. Alright, next bag. This is a pair of Studio by Torrid black pants. Size women's 16 regular, fantastic size. And these are a Ponte knit, really nice black pants. They don't feel like they've been worn. They're just really, really, really good condition. So one of those, I think there's a second one here too. Yeah, so the exact same pair of pants by Studio by Torrid. Ooh, the black. Um, but these are 16 tall. Same exact Ponte, Ponte knit pants. Next we've got J. Jill Fit. Can't really see it super well there, but it's the fitness line of J. Jill. Size medium, navy blue crop pant. And these are just so comfortable really really comfortable i have a pair of j jill fit pants um in black they're kind of like a jogger and they're like my favorite pants love to wear those next we've got is this men's i think probably it is yeah so this is a men's lucky brand slim fit size medium long sleeve plaid button-up shirt yeah, very nice. So lucky brand for dollar eighty-two it is great. Next we've got a Catherine's, one of my favorite brands to sell. Catherine's size four X, um, women's long sleeve top. Yeah, there you go. And it is in kind of a red, dark red, and with with some purple in there. Ah, oh, sorry guys. One of these days, I would love to get a good camera and not just use my phone to make my YouTube videos. So, um, if you got a YouTube channel also, um, I'm sure there's somebody out there who does. Uh, and if you have a good camera that you like, um, let me know in the comments. Give me some recommendations for cameras because I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't want to spend a ton of money on a camera, but, um, I also realize that there's limitations to my phone. <laughs> um, all right, so here's another men's top. This is a men's blue uh, Tommy Bahama. Size medium. Men's polo. And they had this priced really high. Look what they had this priced at. But at 75% off, I'm getting it for like, what, $2? Uh, Two-ish. All right, but $1.82 for everything. So it's blue. And it's got a very soft material. Is it silk? <laughs> modal. Modal polyester blend. So very nice. Blue polo. I was really excited to find this dress in the undergarments section. And here it is. Lovely beach vibes dress with a twist back. This is probably the best item of the haul so far. 
because this item Hmm. Because this item is by Patagonia. And it's a size women's medium and it is perfect condition. It's got a shelf bra, just so cute. Just doesn't even feel like it's been worn. So for $1.82, Patagonia is excellent. Next, we've got, I do really good with Kashyyyk. This is a Kashyyyk tankini top and it is new with tags $67 price tag um swim ah swim by Kashyyyk there you go um and this is a size 22 plus size so isn't that pretty people need swim stuff year round because people take vacations even in the winter um, this is another pair, man, I'm guessing these are all from the same person. This is another pair of Ponte bootcut black pants by Torrid, and these are a 16 regular. Again, like new condition. These have a stretchy elastic waistband. This is a blazer by Loft took a bit of a chance on this because I, I really don't normally pick up loft unless it's a style pickup but I thought you know we're going into fall this is a size 8 uh, blazer uh, and it's black um, single button clothes and it's got some neat stitch contrast stitching in white and there's the back so if it was like a solid black blazer, it would have been like an instant definite pickup because that's very versatile and in demand color. Um, but I, I thought it would be worth giving a try for $1.82. Um, this is by the brand J. Jill. And this is like an open front vest. And let's see. I picked it up because it's 100% linen. So again, it's a black vest, but it's 100% linen. A little bit Western looking. I like how it like has like this uneven thing where it goes down and then angled and it's then higher in the in the back. So, uh, did I say the size? Ah, oh, the size has been cut out, but it looks to be um, probably a large or a medium. Next, we've got some green olive pants. There you go. And I picked these up because they are Catherine's. These are the Suprema collection, um, size 1X petite. Really good condition. Another bag down. We're halfway, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying the haul. Um, Got a question for you. Yesterday I went to the bins and I got a hundred dollars worth of stuff at the bins. It's been it's definitely been a sourcing week for me. Um getting getting more inventory to list. So um I got a full cart. I was there for probably mm, four rotations, so about four hours, maybe three, maybe th probably three to four hours. And uh, I got a full cart, so let me know if you want a Ben's haul. Um, I haven't decided whether I'm going to do it yet, and if I have the time, it may be that I just need to bring the stuff in and list it. But if you're interested in that Ben's haul, let me know in the comments. So, shouldn't take, like, forever to do it. I'm trying to, like, bring things in from my car in waves, though. So, like, the thrift haul that I did a few days ago, I'm trying to, like, get all that listed, and then I will bring this Salvation Army stuff into the into the listing room and then do that before I bring in the Ben's haul. So um, if you're interested in seeing the Ben's haul, maybe a few days before I do it, but let me know. All right, this is a women's purple Lauren Ralph Lauren um, quarter zip with thumb holes and like protection uh, cuff things here. Um, so very athletic. It is called um, Lauren Ralph Lauren, eh, I thought it was like RLX or something, but it's definitely an athletic shirt. 
and it is a size XL. Um, now it appears to be women's, but I honestly don't know. It's got a mock neck collar there. It really could be men's. Um, I'm not sure. Size medium. So really, really nice Lauren Ralph Lauren piece. On to the next bag. One of my favorite jean uh, or pants, pants, they make pants and jeans and tops, um, is to, to sell one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite brands of pants slash jeans to sell is the brand Democracy. I've been selling it for a really, really long time. Um, it's kind of like up there with Liverpool and Judy Blue. Those are, so Democracy, Liverpool, and Judy Blue are almost like always instant pickups for me if the price is reasonable. So these are a Women's Democracy plus size, which is even better. Like new, olive green pant. Stretchy waistband, and they have the Absolution ab solution sometimes you'll see ab technology but that just means it's got like a comfort waistband and these are incredibly popular so i think those will move very quickly next um we have a pair of loft size 16 tall burgundy uh yeah these are more of actually these are probably more of a maroon than a burgundy they've got more purple in them than red uh pants trouser pants and they are called the Marissa Skinny. The reason I picked up Loft is because these are new condition and plus size and because they had the name of the style. So those three factors caused me to pick those up for just $1.82. There's another pair in here too. This is just a dress I got for myself. Um, it's green, which is supposed to be in my color palette. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Do you think this green looks good with my skin tone? It's supposed to be. Uh, this I thought was just such a cute dress. It's a sheath dress and it's got pockets and studying. It's green and it's got like half sleeves. I just thought, I just thought it was so cute. So that's for me. This is, what is it? Uh, Chico Zenergy size. 12, 14, ribbed cow neck top. Really, really cute for the fall. And it is a gray stripe. She goes energy, does quite well. Typically moves pretty quickly, especially that's a really good size. This is a pair of women's Duluth Trading Co pants. They are a size 12, which is a fantastic size. And they are in kind of a beige neutral. And they are a hiking pant, which is like new condition. The Loose Trading is a great brand to sell. It's very, it's very popular. Lots of people like it, and it's well made. Ugh. Yeah. Um, okay, this is a brand I took a chance on. I thought it was very interesting. Um, I had never seen this brand before. Woman. Woman. Uh, this is a size 6 black pant, and they just have like a really luxurious texture. Um, and I, I can't remember, did I actually look up comps? I may have looked up the brand in general, and it looked alright. And so, I decided to go and pick it up for $1.82. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? If it doesn't sell, I lose a dollar. If it sells, I, I profit, so. Um, even if I sell it for like $10, but... Yeah, I I feel confident that I did look up that brand and was like, oh, it looks reasonable, so. Um, this is a pair of women's Ann Taylor mainline, uh, 16 Petite, and these are a navy blue trouser. They are a cropped ankle length. Really, really nice. A lot of these items I picked up because they were plus size and they were in pretty reasonable mid-tier brands. This is a really, really cute pair of trouser pants, and they do appear to be very high rise uh, by 11Z, which is sold at Anthropology. These are size four, and let me show you. They are slightly vintage. I don't think I've ever sold the brand 11Z, but as you can see, we've got a really high waist here, and then trouser kind of a flare leg here at the bottom and they are gray 
Uh, the material, I kind of feel like they might have linen. Let's see. 100% linen. Very cool. Okay, they're like soft for a linen, so I was like, I don't know if they do. Okay, so that really upped the value. 100% linen anthropology. Um, those those should go go well, especially fall pants are going to be wor being worn a lot. This is a pair of Old Navy gray pixie pants. Pixie pants are a really good seller for me within Old Navy. They're one of the things that if they're in really good condition, I'll almost always pick them up if they are size six and above. Um, size eight and above is probably better advice. Um, these are a size 10 tall. So the tall really adds uh, value because um, they're just harder sizes to find for people than the normal number of sizes. So size 10 tall, pixie pants. Pixie pants are a um, kind of like a cropped ankle length pant, straight leg. All right, was very happy to find this for $1.82. This is a new with tags White House Black Market. Ah. There's the tag. Um, this part has actually like fallen off. I don't think it's a big deal though because I think it'll still sell. White House Black Market, new with tags, black dress. And it's a size women's 16. So a fantastic size and it's beautiful. So uh, three quarter sleeve, black dress, and it's got this beautiful kind of angled tearing. Beautiful for a special event, but $1.82 for new with tags. White House Black Market is amazing. This is a pair of women's Zaya Active, so more Zaya, and these are a size small navy blue jogger. Here we go. And these are crispy. They feel like new. Very, very nice. They have pockets. They're kind of a deep heathered blue. Um, let's see. Next, we have a pair of new with tags, size 14 regular Lane Bryant trouser pants. I picked up a lot of trouser pants today. And these are uh, $70 pants. No, they're called the Modern, the Lena. They have a name. The Lena Moderately Curvy Fit Classic Trouser. So again, I just really hit the jackpot with the sizes. Sizes are fantastic because you know there's all, there's always some things that you wouldn't pick up, but when they're in a really good size, like a plus size, I would say 12, 14, 16 up and up, then it's like wow, this is really good. All right, I would say um, aside from the Patagonia dress and the new with tags White House Black Market dress, this is up there with those, and it's probably better, honestly. This is a pair of women's black Ming Wang knit pants, size large. If you've never heard of Ming Wang, it's a really good brand to pick up. I have found a pink tank top by them one time and it sold just right away. It's a very expensive brand. This is 90% uh, acrylic, 10% polyester, and this is just a beautiful pair of black pants. Kind of a straight leg and their size large. Those are going to do really well. This is another pair of riding pants. By the way, the riding pants that I've shown you guys in some of my previous videos have just been selling really, really well. I think I sold another pair last night. Um, I've sold two pairs of the I Ride On pants. I listed the Carrots pants, and there may have been one more that I sold. Tread Step, maybe. Um, anyway, they're all listed at this point. Here's another pair. These are, I would say, hot pink. Hot pink pair of riding pants. And they are by the brand Riding Sport. Size women's 34. So what would that be, like a 12 or a 14? Um, and it says Dover Saddlery. And these are just so nice. These riding pants on the back. They're literally, all of this is like rubber grip, like silicone gripping, and then it goes all the way down here. So um, that the person, when they sit on the saddle, that it, it, they stay on the saddle really easily. 
All right, one more bag left, guys. That bag's down. Last bag, hope you're enjoying the haul. So um, let me know what you think is the most lucrative item of this haul down in the comments. I'm curious to know what you think. I think those Ming Wang pants are probably number one right now. I can't remember what's in the last bag, but I think the Ming Wang pants are probably number one. The Patagonia dress, the White House Black Market, new with tags dress. Possibly the Anthropology linen pants. I'm not sure how well those are due. Those will do. Um, the Azaya Active will do really well, I think. Uh, think of anything else. The other stuff is definitely more uh, more mid tier, I would say. All right, more pants. This is just a classic pair. I've sold so many of these Ponte knit um, pants by J. Jill. Ponte slim leg, um, size medium petite charcoal pants. Really, really nice basic for someone's wardrobe. This is a really beautiful Lane Bryant blazer for $1.82 plus size. Beautiful black blazer. Uh, I will take it. Size 26. And it has a really neat um, closure in the front there. So this just hooks like that. Let's see if I can get it to stay. So it looks like that. Sorry about the, the black, guys. Really, really pretty blazer. And it's it's crispy. It's new. New condition. Next, I uh, debated whether to get these, and then I did. This is uh, Fabletics leggings, and they look to be probably an extra small. They're gray, and I don't normally pick up Fabletics because it doesn't, it doesn't sell for that much, and um, oftentimes it will sit for a while. The reason I picked these up is because I thought they had really cute, unique, like ballerina cross crossing down here, elastic crossing, and on the other one too. So I just thought that was kind of a unique detail. So they're gray and pink, and I would say definitely high rise, and it says power hold by Fabletics. They've got an inside pocket too, right there in the front. Oh, that's interesting. Kind of unusual to be in the front. Um, this is a pair of women's size four ASOS design high rise shorts. Really, really cute. Kind of a textured. And these are black. Kind of an old fashioned 90s look to me. It's really cute. So those, that's very much bread and butter. They won't go for a lot. This is a pair of size large mesh lined are these men's i'm honestly not sure probably um kind of like an aqua green pair of shorts by adidas so mesh underwear lining and I thought they had some interesting details that looked a little different than typical Adidas shorts. They've got pockets and there's your side stripes. So I don't know what would I call this, like a seafoam, a light seafoam sea green. Next, these were in the women's section. I don't know if they are women's. I'm really not sure. They button like women's, but they really look a lot more like men's. But this is um, by the brand Horny Toad, which is the first time I've ever found it as Horny Toad. I, fi I have found Toad & Co. several times, which is the rebranding. That's their new name for this company. Um, but these are size six, 100% cotton shorts. Plaid shorts, they've got the cute Horny Toad. To me, these look like high school boys shorts like what high school boys wore when I was in high school, like 15 years ago. Um, but maybe they're women's because they do just say size six and I don't typically see boys sizing look like that. So those are really cute though, either way. Very nice and they snap close. Mm, White House Black Market, size 10 petite, beautiful dress. 
and it's kind of bohemian with the tassels all over print. Here we go. Ooh! Oh no! Look guys, one of the tassels is totally missing. I'll have to, or I'll have to decide whether to list this still or not, but it is a mini dress with a drop waist. So it's kind of, uh, that means that there's banding that like instead of being up here, it's like dropped down. Yeah, we'll set that aside. The tassel, I mean, it's not that noticeable, so maybe someone, someone will still want it and wear it without that. This is a pair of Zaya Active, so what is that, like three Zaya Active pieces? These are buttery, like new, black Zaya Active size four crop capris, crop, crop leggings slash capris. Really, really nice condition. This, for $1.82, is a 100% linen J. Jill dress. And it's in this beautiful, buttery, muted yellow. And it is a maxi length. Very unusual to see. Um, fully lined, gorgeous linen dress. And it is vintage J. Jill. You can tell by that tag. Um, but it is a size 8. So very good size. And I picked it up because of the linen. Even though it's an older style. I think that that, that would have been pretty pricey new. This is a pair of women's Zenergy Chicos, size 12, 14, petite, cropped pant. And I thought that the, the print was so pretty. There you go. Kind of like Victorian a little bit. Perfect, like new condition. Um, this is a women's size 2X logo by Lori Goldstein. Tunic top. And it's purple. I really like the design of this. I would probably wear something like that. By the way, grape. Grape purple is supposed to be in my color palette too. What do, what do we think? Maybe. Um, yeah, just lovely. Lovely, perfect condition. Size 2X. So like... The hallmark of this haul is scoring with plus size items. That is probably the best thing about this whole haul is the sizing. Uh, this is a women's size cat, uh, size Catherine's. This is a women's Catherine's top, size 0X, which I'm guessing I'll just put XL for that. Um, really intricate brown top, three quarter sleeve, and it's got all of this really cool texture detailing and on the back also. Very pretty. Nice side slits there. Just a couple more items, guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed it. I know it's been kind of a, a fast haul. I've got a lot to do today, but I wanted to get this. I still wanted to get this filmed. Um, this is a pair of women's swim shorts in navy blue by Athleta. And they are size women's small. They feel like new. Um, yeah, just such good condition. There's the style. I'll look it up. These look like definitely newer Athleta, though. Just little swim shorts, cute ruching on the sides. All right, we've got another pair of Chico's pants. And I suspect that these are like the same type of pant that I literally just sold. I've sold so many like this. Let's see. Um, yeah, so these are a like a dark red size 12 petite red pant. And they are a ponte knit, very stretchy elastic waist. Tend to do well with this type of pant. Sold ton of those in charcoal gray, so. All right, guys, that is the whole haul. 54, I think. 54 items uh, for $1.82 each. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought. And uh, yeah, hard to beat Salvation Army, 75% uh, off sale. Um, I did learn that um, the Salvation Army there is planning to relocate 
they're only moving because the lease on the building uh, went up. And so they're just trying to clear out everything from that specific location and then uh, get to their new location. They don't know where that's gonna be yet, but I hope it will be fairly close to me still. So, all right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you could hit the thumbs up button um, if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to this channel if you're interested in seeing more reselling, fashion reselling content. So everyone have a lovely day and I'll see you again very soon.